guys that are having issues fitting their their air filters on their S400 Turbo LS builds typically in a Commodore. This is my solution. It's a it's a rubber Cobra head adapter they call it from intakehoses.com. Five inches on the top, four inches on the bottom, and it's flared out so it doesn't reduce volume. Not that it would matter too much, but it's nice to know that they've they've designed it that way on purpose. This is slim enough that you can fit it on the front of the turbo in a Commodore and cut a hole and run a, a big filter below instead of having a, t a tiny little filter on the front of your turbo and restricting its airflow significantly. It's a really good solution and I wish more people would do it. Here's the neck in place without the headlight installed. You can see how, well obviously I'm going to have to extend that hole, not a surprise there, but you can see how well this fits on the S400 style turbo and how much space it would save. So for a Commodore guy, you've got that room. My, my space restraints are a bit tighter than on a Commodore, but you can see how that would work. Here it is installed. See if it's perfectly on the turbo side. I need probably another centimeter to get that light to fully seat. So it's just, it's just hitting the body here. So there'll be a little bit I can trim away here. I don't need all of that, that plastic. A lot of it is just to hold the rubber seal and that can go in further as long as it's still somewhere for the actual seal to hold otherwise it'll get water in it. Not that I'm really worried about that but it'd be nice to have it right. And then just extend the hole on the bottom, filter below, job done.